Hello everyone, how's it going? I'm Wack Rendor and today we're going to be taking a look at something I found in the closet, which is all of my uh, childhood artwork. So, uh, when I was about eight, nine, I think this was between like seven to seven to nine years old, these amazing pieces of artwork, uh, and I found them in a folder. And I was like, you know who would probably enjoy all these is the internet. So, uh, I tweeted this one and Snapchatted it, but these are Pokemon that I drew. Uh, I don't even remember drawing these, but we have some great ones. Uh, I think there's Hitmonlee. Uh, there's Polygon, Zubat. I have no idea. Electrobuzz, maybe? And a uh, Pidgey? And then what I think is a uh, slow bro that's literally just like, kill me. <laughs> Look at that face, dude. Look at that face. <laughs> I think that's my favorite one. That's, that should be my Twitter avatar. I might just change that. Uh, so those are some things. I also found this, which I think I drew in like second grade. Crazy Bones. Who remembers Crazy Bones? I drew like all the ones that I had, I think. Sorry about this, like, terrible lighting. It's really bad lighting in here, and, like, I'm sitting kind of behind a light, and it's just... I don't, even, I don't know, dude. So, you see, focus. There we go. I think you can read uh, a lot of these. Some great ones in there. I remember Crazy Bones were just a big thing for a while in grade school, and then, just like everything, everyone moved on. So, uh, that's a Crazy Bones book. Uh, let's see. I feel like these are my best ones, so I'm gonna save that. Here's a, here's a treat. This is Mega Turtle and Super Rabbit in the zoo. This is book one, of course. Uh, let's read into the lore here. This is some good lore. Uh, one day, at or someday, at one day at the zoo, there was a rabbit. There, there was also a turtle, gator, and they had a pig. One day, a thunderstorm came and shot out lightning. It hit all the animals and made them super. And there's all the animals. They're getting uh, hit by lightning. And uh, the, the gator and the pig turned bad, but the turtle and the rabbit turned good. The gator called himself Gadget Gator. The pig called himself Mega Pig. The turtle called himself Mega Turtle. And the rabbit called himself Super Rabbit. Very creative names. Uh, you know, I've actually, I still have the same level of name creation to this day. Uh, they became enemies, dude. They started fighting at the zoo. Uh, and then Mega Turtle and Super Rabbit knocked them out. Ow! They're, they're uh, ah, they're getting knocked out here. And, uh... This is only the first book. The end. Shit, dude. <laughs> uh, so that's uh, that one. Here is one I didn't really know why I did it. I guess this was uh, March 1st. Or wait, March 17th, 1998. I don't know. It was in 98. Here's a mummy. Here's the thing. I just cut out pictures of a Lego magazine and just pasted them in this. What's this say? Look at the tower is tipping over. Oh. Uh, Hydronaut. So I guess... Wait. Water? Uh, scuba diving. Police station. Uh, auto repair. I don't know... I don't actually know, like, what this is. Back to normal. Okay. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. Here's... These are, I think, some of the first ones I did. This is when I was playing Kirby, right? Uh, this is 1997. Three Kirby books. King, King DDD's Final Chance. I actually based all of these off the, uh, the video games, as you can see. Uh, there is an accurate picture of King DDD. There it is. Uh, beautiful. I was gonna say that uh, my uh, super turtle and mega rabbit or whatever it is probably has 
just as much, if not more, uh, story and context as Allegiant, if you haven't seen that movie. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's Tower. I think all I did for this, like there's Sun and Moon, is I played the Kirby game, right? And then I just drew the actual Storby, the, the Storby, the Kirby story, the Storby, uh, the story that happened in, what's that game, Kirby All-Star or Kirby Superstar? I think it was Kirby Superstar. I just like drew everything that happened. And this was, you know, this was a big time in my life. Uh, it was King DDD again. Great, great drawing artwork. Uh, I'm sure you're... <laughs> Let's see, a lot of people ask, where do you get your Microsoft Paint skills from? This is where it's from. This is where it all began. You know, some amazing drawings occurred. Uh, you know, you got that tree dude. There's the chef. That's a great, that's a great quality chef right there. Look at that. Look at that chef. I swear to God, iPhone lighting in here is so bad. It keeps like going dark. I'm sorry, you know, you're used to just high quality. Extremely high quality stuff happening here. And uh, yeah, these are my Kirby books. So, man, it's once you see once you see one thing, you see it all, right? There's Meta Knight. You know, you got uh, Meta, the battle with Meta Knight. There's a bunch, of, for some reason I stapled these things. It's like yes or no. It's a game. Who has a mask? I don't even know what, I'm, what I was doing here, dude. That's all right, so that's my Kirby book. And I drew like three of them. I also have Super Meta Knight and Meta Knight, the final fight, shit dude. And then, uh, this was the last thing I really remember working on, which was Dingo's Modern Life. I wonder where I got that from. Uh, <laughs> so I really liked Rocco's Modern Life. And so I was like, I'm gonna make a comic book that's literally a copy of it, but in, in, in a comic book, little kid comic book form. Notice Witchy World. If you know, if you're watching my Banjo Tooie playthrough, this was when I played it last, which is uh, I don't think there's a date on it. It's probably like what is that? When did it come out? 2000. That's probably like 16 years ago. I probably drew these like 16 years ago. Shit, dude. So, so they go to Witchy World, right? Here's a here's a cat. We're going to Witchy World. We're here. Hamburger. I clean toilets. Which is funny, cause like now I played the game again. And I'm like, oh wow, he does. He does actually clean the toilets. I'm not hungry anymore. I want 100. Like, dude, I remember writing. I remember writing this and thinking that was like the funniest thing ever. I'm like, oh my god, I'm hilarious. These are hilarious. Uh, I, what did he say? Give me fries. Help! So he's chasing the guy at the fries. I see what's going on here. Uh, I'm free. So he was in jail. He got let out of jail. Star Spinner. I paid $100 to get you out. Let's go on the ride. Up to be continued. <laughs> this one's getting continued. On the next page. Uh, help. Yeah! Uh, fortune. Let's go here. It'll be, f wait. It'll be $50, $500. You didn't do anything. Uh, I'm bored. Let's go home. Bye. Uh, I locked my keys in the car. The end. So, uh, pretty much, I made a bunch of these. They're literally just based off Rocco's modern life. I just call them Dingo's modern life. And, uh, then I hit the final one, right? I made nine of them. And then we got to the tenth one. I was like, the tenth anniversary? This one's gonna be good. There's nothing. So, I thought, wouldn't it be great if I just carried on, <laughs> if I carried on my, my, uh, comic books and just wrapped them up and wrote the tenth anniversary edition? I thought that would be pretty fun. Uh... But, I don't know, I just wanted to share a little glimpse into my, my past, my past childhood crendorness and, uh, show you where all of my Microsoft Paint drawings stem from, technically. And anything else I've, like, drawn, drawn, drawn. 
and how bad my handwriting still is. I still have that quality handwriting. It hasn't improved. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, comment below, talk about what did you make as a kid? I also like to make board games. So, I don't know. Did you make board games? Did you make comic books? Did you just write stories? Comment below on what you made. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Okay? Okay. See you.